The Sorrel Wheat House is a historic landmark and Savannah Museum located at 6 West Harris Street in Savannah. It represents one of the finest examples of Greek Revival and Regency architecture in Savannah and was one of the first two homes in the state of Georgia to be made a state landmark in 1954. At 16,000 square feet, it is also one of the largest houses in the city. The Sorrel Wheat House was first opened to the public in January 1940 by the Society for the Preservation of Savannah Landmarks. This society later became the historic Savannah Foundation. Since 2005, the Sorrel Wheat House Museum conducts historic Savannah tours during the day and Savannah ghost tours inside the house every evening. The house was built for Francis Sorrel, a wealthy shipping merchant and esteemed citizen of Savannah. Francis' son was Brigadier General Moxley Sorrel, who fought for the southern states during the Civil War. He served under General James Longstreet, and after the war wrote, Recollections of a Confederate Staff Officer, considered to be one of the top post-war accounts written. General Robert E. Lee visited the home in late 1861 and early 1862. He and Francis Sorrell had been friends since the early 1830s. Lee also visited the Sorrell family in April 1870, shortly before his death. In 1859, a purchase agreement was made by the prominent Savannah businessman, Henry Weed. He took possession of the house in 1862 and it remained in the Weed family until 1914. The opening scene of the 1994 film Forrest Gump was filmed from the rooftop of the Sorrel Weed house and is a popular tourist stop. The scene, which begins with a floating feather through the Savannah sky, pans the rooftops of other buildings occupying Madison Square as seen from the very top of the Sorrel Wheat home. The scene is then spliced to a scene of another church located on Chippewa Square, where ultimately, Forrest is seen sitting on a bench. The Sorrel Wheat House has a reputation for being one of the most haunted buildings in Savannah. Two of the most prominent stories involve Francis Sorrel's wife Matilda, who committed suicide, and his mistress Molly. Francis Sorrell married Lucinda Moxley shortly after his arrival in the United States. Lucinda came from a wealthy background who did business with Sorrell. Lucinda died just a few years after their marriage so Francis decided he would stay in the family and married her younger sister, Matilda. The two enjoyed their marriage, where Francis had little to no self-control. He began to have an affair with Molly, one of his slaves. Francis even forced her to stay in her own room so that they could have privacy. Matilda soon found out about Molly and in a distraught and enraged state, she jumped off of the second-story balcony, landing headfirst. She died instantly upon impact. Molly was overtaken by guilt. She knew she would be held responsible for the affair and Matilda's subsequent death. Molly was found hanging by a noose in the home, having killed herself as well. The spirits of Molly and Matilda are often reported by visitors. They are seen as dark apparitions walking throughout the halls of the home. Some visitors claim to have seen the apparitions of women in the mirrors throughout the home. The spirit of Molly is said to haunt the home's slave quarters. The space was once rented to a man who used it as his office, unaware of the history. He reported a constant sense of unease and the feeling of being watched. Others who enter the slave quarters report feeling nauseous or drowsy. Some even state they feel as though they are being choked with a thick rope. The house was investigated by Taps during a special 2005 Halloween special episode of Ghost Hunters. The house was also featured on HGTV's If Walls Could Talk in March 2006. It was also investigated by the Ghost Adventures crew in 2014. The house was featured on the Travel Channel's The Most Terrifying Places in America in 2010 and on the Paula Dean Network in 2015.